Hello everyone, welcome back to Summer Place. Let's lay the spy out. Okay, so these last few videos were really, really bad. But <laughs> I gotta believe that this video is really, really good. It's very nice. I didn't, I didn't miscalculate my uh, dailies, and I didn't do this daily already. Let's see. One of every rare card with the defect. This might be interesting. Only one path, and then terminal. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do this. Let's see what is our day. Right, we got hyper beam. We got a lot of powers. Echo form. No, it's great. Seek is great. Ooh, so we have no block at all. <laughs> oh no, this is horrible. We have no block. We have a few cards. We cannot like we have one card. We cannot play. The all for one is basically useless because the only zero cost card exhausts itself, those two. I got a lot of... Oh, I think this might actually be the worst all rare deck. I mean, they're, they're almost always terrible, but this is the worst one, I'm pretty sure. Do we have something for one energy? Oh! Gain for focus, so the lightning orb deals 4 damage. Amazing! So, I need a block card and I need damage. We need both. Channeling Lightning Orb is nice since we got Thunder Strike. Zero cost cards are nice since we got all for one. I am. Um, I mean, all of these cards are nice. I like stack. Our deck is 18 cards, so stack can sometimes be good. Reinforced Body, though, can be a lot of blocks. I'm taking this over the Lightning Channeling. Even though I think the Channel Lightning is really strong. Okay, we'll seek Echo Form and a card I don't want to see at all. I guess Prime and then we'll play Echo Form and go. First card gets doubled. We did it. Let's see. Zero cost attack is nice. Buffer is a power. I think we have too many powers already though. Otherwise I'd take it because buffer is also preventing damage. Hologram is a tiny amount of block and recursion. The question is, is there anything that's worth recurring in this deck? Probably not. So I'm gonna take... Am I gonna take beep cells? Isn't buffer better? Buffer is just straight up good, especially if you have echo form. Let's see. Reinforced body for two gets it. Reinforced body for one is also enough because we have five block anyways. So I can hit you with the all for one and then reinforced body and we got enough block. So far so good. And then we almost got there. Wait, did we play powers? No we didn't. Evoke all of your orbs? This is not enough? Oh no. This is only 5 damage. So I got a reboot. Ah, the, sec the hyper beam again. Okay. More energy is nice. Discard all cards drawn this way that do not cost 0. We took the... No, we didn't take the 0 cost card. So I'm gonna go go for the ice though. It's weakened, so it reduces. It helps us with defensive play. It's zero cost, so it helps with this. I think this is time for Echo Form free attack. We could reboot, I guess. There's a chance we'll draw Hyper Beam, though. Hyper Beam almost finishes the game on its own. I think we're fine. We're losing all for one, that's why I'm, I'm not sure about this. Prevent the next two times, we lose energy. Then hit him for six. Wait, if recursion would have hit him for eight, so recursion would have been better. But we got two buffer going. Can I hyper beam him for a lot? And then next turn, we cannot get anything done. So maybe I don't want to hyper beam quite now. 
I guess machine learning twice and then block everything. I don't know. This is only 18 damage. Let's reboot this. Oh. Right. Nine damage, eighteen damage. I guess this is better. So this was a terrible turn. Doubling up the hyper beam would have been better early on. Eleven damage times two will not kill you, but it's gonna be close. And then do ten damage. Okay, it's completely fine because we have two buffer, so we will not take any damage here. And... This kills one of them. Okay. And then we have the reinforced body to block. And then here we go. So far so good. That's just straight up block. I think we have to put some block and some attack cards in our deck. Amplify buffer. So it prevents this damage. We're losing the plated armor still, but I think that's fine. Now if I seek echo form. And I guess meteor strike is completely useless. Play echo form. We'll lose the next one to buffer, but now we got Echo Form. And I think Echo Form itself is good enough. Start of your turn, you no, this is bad. Do I want the battery? It's another blocking card. Conserves energy. I might want that. Well, now let's upgrade. What do we want to upgrade? Let me think. Making these innate is bad. Meteor Strike costs 5 anyway. Seek giving us a third card. Might not be amazing. Echo Form is not ethereal, but this is for me the worst upgrade because I'm always going to play Echo Form no matter the cost. I think it's that good. This costing 1 and giving us an additional energy might be nice. Making these cheaper. Oh, making Buffer twice as good is also a great idea. I think Buffer is our best defensive card. Kinda like defending until we can play. Okay, 7 max HP is nice. Helps us with the terminal. I think now we might want to play this. Play, pay 1 energy to gain a plasma, and the plasma will give us 1 energy all the following turns. Seems like a good idea. Skills are automatically upgraded. Mm, aggregate gives us a lot of. What happens if we upgrade this? 13 block. I'm thinking about the skills because they're automatically upgraded. Maybe we want the Echo Form cheese though. FTL is also great with the zero cost. Thing is if we get Aggregate, and Aggregate is always an amazing card with Seek. Aggreg seek, Aggregate, Echo Form and then we can play Echo Form with something else. That was an amazing combo we did earlier. And then this is block. This is 13 block. It's gonna be on our starting hand if we need it. And otherwise we can get it back. And then we can't do this anymore. And I think we're fine. Yeah. Do I want to become cursed with regrets? I might actually regret that. But let's go. Oh, maybe... Actually, I think the 5 max HP would have been better now that I think about it. In terminal, it's 5 more rooms where we don't... Okay, we can't, can't play anything. This is the worst starting end I've ever seen. You know what? Screw you. Twelve poison will kill him fast enough when we just need to block.
20 damage. We didn't draw buffer, I was hoping we'll, we'd draw buffer. Plus one focus. Block everything. Regret loses one HP. No, two HP, right? And now we got him dead. I think that was really sketchy. Another boot sequence? Self repair is nice, static discharge is nice. Static, both, I think self repair and static discharge work very well together. Okay, listen. Echo form and aggregate. Or is no starting hand already? Wait, where is aggregate? There it is. Do I want buffer? I might want this. Oh, we can't play this anymore. Oh, that's bad. Should have played rainbow then. Ah, the additional energy is really good though. Zero cost cards. We got the boot sequences if we do that. Eighteen block, eighteen block. Okay, we're blocking everything, so we will reboot this. Rainbow is giving us two energy back because it will evoke the plasma. Okay, we'll go for the eye, and I guess we buffer, and we should be fine. I don't think we'll take any more damage here. We'll evoke all these orbs. That's eight and ten, twenty damage. So it's completely fine. I think we do have enough block. So is Cold Snap the way to go? Cold Snap is pretty bad though. In our deck. We don't have blizzards, but I mean so far we got reinforced body, leap, conservatives, back battery and two boot sequences. I think we might actually skip this. Come curse with doubt for gold? No. We already got cursed with the other one. So what do we want upgraded again? Anything where we can reduce the cost to zero? No. Works with all for one? No, that increases scaling. That increases that. That increases block, I remember. This gets down to zero. But I never want to play this. Maybe I want to upgrade the strong cards like Hyper Beam. This gets innate and this gets gain 5 focus. This doesn't exhaust itself, it can exhaust itself for all I care. I'm not entirely sure what to get here. Maybe upgrade the Hyper Beam. Seek, echo form, aggregate. I should have upgraded the seek so I could have seeked another card. Reboot this. I think it's too early for hyper beam. So this is pretty bad. I'd like to get buffer. It prevents the next four times we take damage. The thing is, he's attacking six times. So that's not helping very much. Multicast, we'll just evoke this a lot of times. If we amplify, the next powers play twice and then play buffer twice. But that's also pretty bad. Prime doesn't work. So we might as well just play buffer twice. Run four of these damages. Then evoke for 16 damage. Now nah, I'll do this then. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. It's not the way I wanted it to go. Goodbye, plated armor. Oh, maybe I should have doubled up on one of my powers, actually. 
it's also too early for bias cognition, I feel like. Okay, so we're taking taking a beating here. Aggregate does nothing. This would help us channel a lot. Double up on, on, on magnetism. Channel one of each, we will lose the extra energy though. Probably don't want that, so I'm just blocking here. Keep the boot sequences, because they can be very valuable, I think. Okay. Uh, madness first. Make two cards free. Maybe I should have doubled up on, on Nova. Eight block, retain energy. Hit you with the strike, hit you with the Nova. Do I want to get rid of a anything, or do I just want to keep the energy? Because we, we retain the three energy right now. Like, I could play Prime, it retain one energy and get a power out of here. Okay, we'll do that. Let's see. Channel another pl Ooh, No, we'll, we'll do this. We got five energy, so we can Meteor Strike, get three Plasma back, so... Doubling up on this will draw us a lot of cards and give us a lot of energy and deal a lot of damage. So that's beautiful. Jack of all trades, get an artifact. Play the Hollow World, kill him with the dramatic entrance. This gives us another increased energy and draws a card. Evoke your next orb X times. This will give us infinite energy. So we will do that. Yeah, it's basically infinite energy. Now we do this, draw three cards, because we're evoking three or uh, channeling three orbs. That's regret. I think those will not be returned, because... Hey, one of them will be returned, because of we put madness on it. So we will weakness, hit him. Oh, we will return all of these cards. We'll retain the energy. That's amazing. I could have ampl I should have amplified one of these cards, actually. Keep the boot sequences and retain. Uh, take three of regret. We got eleven energy for next turn. Oh, even more. Oh, this is great. Doubling up on Panache. Play sadistic nature. Play sadistic nature. Channel one frost draw a card. It draws us two cards. We will block. Aggregates giving us energy back. Give us focus. Evoke your next orb. Channel the orb that was just evoked. Hit him with the Meteor Strike. Gain the boot sequence and the Panaches do trigger. So the start was kinda bad and then it was amazing. I do like Seek. Tr Transform all strikes and defense? We don't have any. Feather could help us by automatically healing us on the rest side for every 5 cards. That's 10 HP whenever we enter a rest side. Or Sozu, which is an additional energy, and I think the additional energy is really good for us. We bought Aggregate, so we kinda don't need the energy if, if we draw cards in the right order, but it is great. Can we completely destroy them? Almost, but not quite. Oh, yes, we can. I will get this Seek and the uh, aggregate. Play aggregate up to seven energy. We play seek. We get meteor strike. Channels three plasma, and then rainbow and echo four. Now first we will meteor strike someone. It's only dealing twelve damage, but it will channel three plasma. And we have two energy left. And I can play this, channel a plasma, gain an energy more, now we are 3 energy. Then we play rainbow, we channel 3 orbs, so we gain 6 energy back of the 3 plasmas we just did. Then we play echo form, we can play conserve, hit them all for free, and conserve 2 energy because we got enough block. So we got echo form out that turn, and we even kept 2 energy for this turn. Where we can hyperbeam twice. 
and kill him. Oh, I'm loving this. That's probably not the right thing to do. Rebounding something could be nice. Maybe another leap though. Just more e efficient block. I don't have strikes or defense, but we can remove the regret finally. Beautiful. That was a good question mark. Let's see. We start with aggregate and echo form in hand. And then we retain the three energy. No, I would have loved to gain something else. Now, if I play Seek, it's gonna be doubled up. I would have loved to double up on Meteor Strike. But if we double up on Seek, we gain Meteor Strike. We gain Fusion, that will give us an energy back we used on Meteor Strike. We will gain... We could gain Buffer, for example. I play Seek twice. I think I, we've got 8 energy, so I'll take these two. And then second Seek will put the Dazed in my hand, because we can purge the Dazed already. Do I play Buffer? Do we play a zero cost card? You know what? We got all for one also in our hand. Okay, so we meet your strike. We play Fusion, go up to four energy. Hit you. 14 damage is probably not enough. Hit you. Play one of our boot sequences. Play the rainbow to gain 6 energy back and then we'll reboot. Got 3 days out of the deck, it's fine. Really? It's still, it's still okay though. We can... Hyper Beam. All for one, and I don't know. Aggregate. The second one gets dazed, dazed, and dazed. I mean, we could just play Hyper Beam and kill him. Draws us a card. We got so much energy. I think this might be a good play to go. At a burn, no. Evoke your next orb could be nice. It's zero cost though. Those are zero cost, so they make all for one better again. Draw three cards for zero at a burn. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm taking only skills because of Toxic Egg, I feel like. Tiny chest, I like it. 300. Mangoes, I think, what we have to take. Ooh, on the other hand, Mind Blast. We make this innate, we can start with a nice and clean 25 damage every combat. The question is, is that better than just getting Mango? That offsets the terminal, and I think that's amazingly strong. But Mind Blast! We already got so many cards in our deck. It's only got the first turn though. I'm gonna take Mango. I'm sorry, Mind Blast. Mind, Mind Blast is a really, really strong card, but I think getting the HP back will make it so much safer. And we Steam Power. Let's see. Anything good, please. There's nothing good here. 15, so this is enough block. Oh, we could have played this. I guess we Rainbow still, and then retain the 4 energy for next turn. We got enough block. Fission doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't need the boot sequence yet. Let's see. Hyper beaming could be nice. Amplifying creative AI could be nice. Multicasting. Oh, does this kill you? 9 times 8? Oh yes, this does kill you. Okay. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Very nice. Two orb slots. I don't think I need the orb slots. I'm gonna go for the zero cost attack. We will smith. Hmm. Could smith the other seek, so it also seeks three cards. This is just additional damage. Yeah. X plus one times. This makes the card good in anything. Now oh, let's upgrade the seek. I love having aggregate in a deck with two seeks. 
Korea. Okay, that's not amazing. Okay, I think we have a very nice start here. Do I need to second seek? I don't think so. This gives us energy back if we want to. We got the Meteor Strike. So I'm taking Aggregate for sure. I'm taking Echo Form because we'll play it afterwards. And I guess I'm taking Seek. No, I need I need something. We got Rainbow to channel off the Meteor. Yeah, we'll take the second Seek. Play Aggregate first, up to 8 energy. Meteor with the Meteor. Then channel the Rainbow Gainer, back 6 energy. Make you weak so you don't deal any damage. I mean, you wouldn't anyways because of this. Echo form. I could have aggregated echo form. Oh, no, amplified, not aggregate. So, do I want to multicast something? Could probably get an all for one going if I take axe kick, steam power, all for one. I like the idea of that. Do I need the steam power now? I'll probably play this and machine learning. I think that's fine. Getting the additional energy at the end of this turn. I mean, we're already at 5 thanks to runic dodecahedron, but... And we double up on this and this should kill you. I would like everything that's happening here. The question is, do we want a second axe kick? I think that might actually be overkill. I don't need a, another leap though, right? I, on the other hand, that's 12 block on a single card. Capacitor, I don't think this is the deck for Capacitor. I We live off rolling over cards, so I think this would actually be detrimental for us. I think we're gonna skip. Here come the Elite Fight. Okay, Aggregate. Uh, I think we'll do both boot sequences and block everything draw some cards. We got Echo Form at least, so I'm gonna play this for sure. Okay, we can get we can play everything here. Channel the orb. Hit him with an axe kick. Evoke your next orb, then channel the orb again, up to five energy. Play prime, play leap. It's another power to play. I mean we're losing the focus, but I think that's fine. And we played too many of these. So we got Echo Form going. So I think I'm gonna go for the doubled up buffer. And we hit him with an all for one, gain our cards back. Draw more cards. Yes, it's adding a burn. Ooh, the Nova. Wait, the Nova kills you. So can we seek? Aggregate will give us... No, Aggregate is pretty bad. But Machine Learning... Aggregate... For every 5 cards, so this is giving the energy back. Yeah, we played a card for free. Plague Machine Learning. Hit him with the Nova. No, 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 we need the 5th energy. Wait, we already got 5 energy. Do we need the 6th energy? Oh, I could have axe kicked and then amplified the machine learning. I think we'll do this and save the 1 energy. No, but wait, if I... Maybe this was bad. There you go. I think this is completely fine. Doubling up on Meteor Strike gives us an energy plus and we drew a lot of cards. Side of your turn, add a random power to your hand. Do I want that? Just evoke more orbs, gain orbs. No, I want to evoke orbs with rainbow. Hit you for 18, evoke your next orb, channel that orb. Amplify the creative AI. I guess, thunder strike. Beam. And he's dead. To the lightning. 
No. Oh, because I, I beamed. Yeah, so he's not dead. But I guess he is dead. I, I like the, the intricacy of playing this character. I think going for a very defensive, power focus build was the right start with this rare deck. I don't think we want a second aggregate, though. Playing turn one Seek for aggregate, aggregate Seek, and then aggregating twice, and then playing the second Seek for whatever we need is also amazing. May yeah, you want the second aggregate then. Otherwise I'd take a Glacier, it's a channel block, channel frost, maybe not. I'm, I'm, let's see. I, maybe the second aggregate is too greedy. But there it is. We Seek for aggregate, aggregate, and seek. Up to 8 energy, up to 11 energy. So we seek. We want Meteor Strike, we want Rainbow, and we want... Uh, where's the double up? Amplify. So we do this, we do this, We amplify the echo form, because I can. We do this, that kills you for free. I guess this is what we do. We got two echo forms now. It should completely demolish you. Is Claw good enough? I think we know on zero cost cards. X kick, X kick is nice because evoking orbs is sometimes a good thing. This draws us two cards. Yeah, I think we take cool headed. Some card advantage. It's pretty nice. No. We're kinda getting Meteor Strike more frequently with the setup we got going now. Four times the amount of power you evoke your next orb. X plus one times is also nice. Reboot drawn a seven could be nice. Creative Eye, cheaper? I mean, Fission, we, we actually don't play at all. Make Recursion free? I think this helps us. If we, if we have a Plasma Orb, it's just gonna be plus one energy. Draw some cards, please. This is pretty sad. I guess getting a hyper beam in is, in is okay, and I know we can't, might as well do this to make our ops at least do something. Oof! All for one gives us back our boot sequences, so that's that's a good thing. We can you? Yeah, attacking for 15. We got 15 block now. Do we need the Echo Form? Probably not. I think just getting Meteor is nice. Oh, we're getting two energy now though. Play this. Got enough block. We don't need to double up, we just need to play anything at all. Like this for example. Whenever you play a power, channel 1 lightning. Innate. What does this do upgrade it? Channel 2 random orbs. I like the idea of channeling more lightning. The reason is, we got Thunderstrike. We could do this as a third very, very big attacking thing. So, Storm is already up. Oh, yeah, it is innate, so it's already upgraded. Maybe make something cheap. Actually, applying a second week with this is amazing. Nova, one more damage per each power played. Ooh, I'm not sure. We're using Meteor Strike quite a lot. Let's get six additional damage here. Oh, I guess sometimes Nova would be actually better. Okay, you know what? No. Play Echo Form, play Machine Learning. It's not one of the amazing first turn combos, but getting Echo Form and all that out there on the first turn is good enough. I don't want to hyperbeam that early, so we'll just channel everything twice.
And I think fission is too much. Hyper beaming now. If you want to get rid of, I mean, it's, it makes frost orbs and lightning orbs useless and dark a lot worse. Could play fission now, gain orb slots, but gaining orb slots is bad. So this was sad. Right, gets uh, doubled up, okay. Nine energy, now we seek. And we seek Meteor Strike, and we seek... Multicast, and we seek the second seek, or do I want to draw three? I'm gonna go to get the second e seek right now. So this is 30 damage, and we're channeling some orbs. And we play multicast, evoke the first orbs four times, go up to eight energy. And we can seek again. Yeah, I want to amplify the buffer. And then we might need some blockies attacking for 17, right? Just end on reinforced body is... No, we don't have the... Oh, there's conservative battery. We got five block. No, we got 20 block and he's attacking for 17, so we don't need block. That's additional energy. I think this is the way to go. So we play this. Right, we got enough block and we conserve everything we keep. Amplify buffer is a nice thing to do. Recursion channels, evokes our next orb and channels it again. So we put the plasma up on the back, gain additional energy. Hit him for a lot. And then I guess we play prime and retain the three energy. Yeah, I'm not gonna play this, we got enough block already. Beautiful turn. Channeling some plasma. Hit him with the weakness, hit him with the axe kick. Draw some cards. I guess playing the power is nice because it gives us an additional lightning channel for thunder. Aggregate again. I want the battery for sure. Draw some cards. Aggregate again. Nova has 21 damage. Channel a plasma, which gives us additional energy. And draw on a card. I don't want fission at all. Guess hit him with a thunder strike for a lot of damage. Hit him with a Nova and reboot. Aggregate again. We don't need to block. Channel another plasma. Ah. Uh, we can't channel any more orbs. Amplifying does not work. We could hyper beam. We got the focus up. Yeah, okay, let's hyper beam. So, doubling up on Meteor Strike is just really, really good. Okay, that's free. Get some energy. Hit you for this. Hit you for this. Some more energy. I guess we could go up to 40 something energy. First draw three cards. We have conservative battery, so you know what? Let's go up to 44 energy. Oh no, this might take a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we play conservative battery for sure. Come on, come on. Yeah, you can get get there. Yeah, we got there. Okay. Thunder strike. Is it time for the steam power? Okay. Play the creative AI. Oh no! Oh, I wanted to get all for one and I wanted to make room. I forgot that we play we play a cow we power we channel something and draw a card, right? Because we channeled something. No, oh, yeah, it's made the turn a lot worse. I could re block for a billion. Oh wait, this kills you. Evoking the orb actually killed him. Oh, is it time for a second meteor strike, or is it is the all for one better? All for one gives us seeks we don't play, reboots we don't play. It gives us back the. Innate blocks the boot sequences, which is kind of nice. Steam powered and axe kick. 
and go for the ice. That's not bad, but I think Meteor Strike is the better card here. Now comes the important... I know, I'm not going to play Choker, you see I'm playing a lot of cards. Is Snack or I any good? I mean, we got expensive, 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 expensive. Expensive, expensive, expensive. We got quite a few cards that cost a lot, but the cards we added are kind of cheap. But it's draw two cards. I think this is the Snack or I deck, to be honest. If there's any Snake Eye deck, it's probably this one. Okay, listen here. Storm is nice. Okay, this is a pretty bad Snake Eye deck so far. Boot sequence gives us enough block. Could also fire potion. I could reboot, but we will be down to one energy. I think what I'm doing here is this. He's summoning another fireball guy. So we aggregate up to seven energy. So this aggregate is giving us one additional energy. Nice. Uh, I guess you get meteor striked. Channeling a bit of plasma. Now this gives us another energy. Channel and evoke up to eight. Okay, very nice. Sadistic nature up to ten. Hit you with a bit big lightning strike. Play seek. Get another meteor strike. Get the seek. And get the fusion. Fusion channels the plasma and evokes the plasma. And meteor strike channels three plasma. We're up to a lot of energy. Seek. This one gives us back our block. This one retains our energy. And then... Go fight the ice, makes him weak. So we go for the ice. We play this for sure. We hit him with the all for one. Oh. We don't have block. I actually thought we had... Oh, it, it costed one. Oh, the boot sequence was one. That's why it didn't bring me back the boot sequence. Ah, I need to think about that. I was wondering, where, where's the boot sequence gone? Why doesn't this work? <laughs> Played him by paying powers and channeling through all that. So the thing is, beam cells is what I normally take, or ball lightning. We are on snack eye though. So the beam cell is kind of bad. Skim, if it costs 1 or 0, it's pretty good. Drawing some cards is amazing with Snack Eye. Gives us more chances for rolling 0 cost. This is amazing. Storm. Do I want to Seek? Aggregate gives us a lot of energy. So I think Seeking for the second Aggregate is, is worth it. Seek. Get the second Aggregate, please. Aggregate, and then I guess Meteor Strike. Aggregate up to 7 energy. Meteor Strike. Seek for the... Where's the Rainbow? Multicast Rainbow? Do I multicast first, then Rainbow? And I guess we can... Conservative Battery. So we multicast first, gain up 4 energy. Play Rainbow. Up to 6 energy. I want to play Echo Form for sure. Oh, I should have amplified Echo Form. That's a misplay. And a big one. I played the cheap one because we are retaining our energy. Don't even need to play anything else. We can just take the orbs from Rainbow. Streamline is a two cost card. All expensive cards are gonna get put in our deck. We got Snacko Eye. Started combat with one focus, with one strength. Uh, at the start of each turn, if you took any damage last turn, trigger the passive ability of all your orbs. 
Uh, plan on not taking any damage, to be honest. What is the boss? Oh! That's a very unfortunate boss. You know what? I'm never playing fish. Get rid of this. I don't want orb slots. I relish on having the three orb slots and evoking orbs when we play stuff multiple times. Storm for sure. We will play mass uh, hyper beam as well. Machine learning. Makes these cards useless, so Storm is a lot worse. But... Clearing out the trash is fine. All for one brings us back the boot sequence, the cool headed. Nah, you know what? Should have probably done this earlier. Go for the good old aggregate, aggregate seek. Channel your. Get the Nova in here. Get the battery in here. Twelve damage, and then we can lightning strike, a uh, thunder strike you. Stack seems like a very good block by now. Got to be careful with playing powers. Like normally, I'm I'm starting with this. That's some good stuff right there. Can we kill him by now? No, we don't have enough lightning channeled. Oh, I should have amplified that. Misplays all around. Those were such terrible plays. I should have taken the conserve energy card in the second seek as well. Six times eleven, that's sixty-six, no, ten times eleven, that's one hundred and damage, also that's a certain kill. Oh. Smith. Any defensive stuff I probably want. Thunder Strike together with Storm. Wait, maybe we want that. I need to play Storm for Thunder Strike to be strong and then. This makes the boss fight at the end a lot worse. So we can play the boot sequence. He's fine, he's not doing any damage. Could skim. Hope for some of our expensive cards. I could also amplify creative AI and hit him with the multicast for one. Actually, let's skim. I'd say that's pretty nice. We do have enough to get the two aggregates. Oh, I couldn't get the second Seek! <laughs> oh, that's sad. If I play Rainbow, it's gonna hit him for a bit. We will go to three energy. We can play Thunder Strike still. Oh, I should have multicast it first. Oh, that's a misplay. Surely. There was there was a plasma up on front. I could have doubled up our energy with multicast. Oh god. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't be stupid. Play this first. Play this. Play the second echo form. Play magnetism. Play the second Meteor Strike. 
play recursion. I guess that's that. We got two echo forms now, I think we should be fine. Also we got a lot of buffer. I think this is fine. 16 times 10 is 160. It's not enough to kill you. But I think this is quite nice. And since we are not retaining our damage, I think that's fine. If it scaled on. If the orb damage scaled on that, we would have killed, but we didn't. This kills you though. A bit late for Juzu Bracer to be any good. Remove block, he's never blocking. I think rebound could be worthwhile. Sometimes I think we want to rebound. No, this is starting to be... I think it is time to upgrade Go for the Eyes. The second turn of weakness is very, very good. Whetstone, all for one and Axe Kick. This could have upgraded Go for the Eye. Could have amplified again. Oh my god, stupid! Stop being so stupid! 18 damage? Or do I want to reboot? Opt to draw something better. Sadly, this doesn't work. All for one with zero, so we'll play buffer. We, if we had one more energy, we could have seeked there for the double aggregate seek stuff. Aggregate. We got no doubling up, so we play our powers, channel some stuff, play leap for sure. Seven block, that's not enough, so we need to play steam power here. Play this. Then play this, gain uh, all of our energy back. Whenever you channel an orb, draw a card. Good sequence. Thunder strike. Do this. Play stack at the end. Hooray, we did it. Double up on creative AI seems bad. What do I want to double up on? Double up on aggreg aggregate to gain one... No, 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 no. No, no. Eh. Beautiful. Place. Oh, uh, we can only play a uh, draw to one card, but we can double up on our power, uh, energy. Um, evoke your next orb. Play the orb that was just evoked. I played Skim a bit later, we could have gotten it here. We'll actually amplify Creative AI. Draw two cards. We're exactly one off. Do we have anything that evokes? This evokes an orb. And we draw all the cards, and now we can play Aggregate. We can play Seek. For... Aggregate, Thunder Strike. Meteor Strike. Up to 8 energy. Hit you with that. Hit you for 60 here. I feel like we're not taking any damage at all. It's too late for the genetic algorithm. Madness? Become cursed. Madness? Yes. Ooh, yes. Come on, something good. Enlightenment. I like it. Ah. ah, do I want that? Yeah, even though we're fighting against the Awakened One. I want Storm Panache or Panache Storm? I think Panache Storm is better. I'd rather have the Panache trigger than the... So, former cards. One, two, three, four.
The panache trigger worked out fine. Ooh, this is not going to work out fine though. We cannot play five cards in a row. We can hit him with that. I think this is fine. Actually, this is completely fine. Clearing out all the damage dealer. So, he's doing 22 damage. We have 13 block here, plus 5, that's 18 block. And then that's that. So we don't block enough, and we cannot kill him. If we steam power, we can draw into some block, maybe. No, I guess we'll have to do this then, and play the leap. Be at 18 block. I think he might be dead already to the Nova, yeah. No, I don't think I need any of this. This is getting very scary and I... I mean, our deck is amazing. I'm not sure it is good enough for... That's all the block we need, okay. I'm not sure if it, it is good enough for the Awakened one though. So close. That one now costs zero always. No, it only costs this one. So madness, getting madness is actually bad. I just realized. Okay, play steam power first. Gonna get enlightenment, make everything cost one. That's bad. I want to play Leap. Let's so 9 and 5. We'll take... No, wait! 9 and 7! Frost is blocking 2. Blade Armor is blocking that, so we're fine. Now if I hit him with anything, we'll take 5 damage for every time we hit, so I'm not gonna play anything. Especially since we're retaining the power, right? Uh, the energy. I guess we'll double up on buffer. I guess we'll hit you for 20 here. Multicast for 8. Leap and then multicast. Kill him and then... I mean we got buffers so why not multicast actually. We got four buffers because I played this twice, so we're completely fine. The buffers doing work. Set your HP to it. Oh, buffer plus another one. I think that's the only power we want to play against this guy, and now I'm resting. Full life, runic dedicahedron is online. Okay, this took forever, but we played slow and methodical. Storm might be good enough. First aggregate is gonna be plus energy anyways, okay. I'm playing echo form 100%, even with your strength up, that's completely fine. The question is, do I want to play Storm? I think I want to play all the other powers for later on. I want to keep him, so we draw some cards. Conservative energy. Draw some more cards. Streamline. And then feel not great about ourselves. We got Echo Form going, but... Wasted a lot of card draw. Ooh, we got Madness for one, Madness for zero. We can play... Okay, gotta play this. 
Double up on men. Oh, and of course it was the double up. That's stupid. So panache still costing three. I'm still gonna do it. We're gonna get hit for so much. Okay, seek. Go for it. We need good stuff. There's another aggregate in here somewhere. I know it. Another madness and then meteor strike. We play aggregate. We madness the meteor strike. We hit this guy. Channel a lot of plasma. We play rainbow. Get all of our energy back. That might have been stupid. We play this. Play stack. And then we do take a lot of damage here. So no more perfects. I think doubling up on buffer is great. It's giving him so much strength though. Can we seek something good? He could seek hyper beam, kill this one, damage the other one. Oh yeah, we can seek something good. Oh, we got two energy only. I should check. Should have checked. I thought like all for one hyper beam is amazing, so this this is gonna work out completely all fine, and then it might not. Gonna take the all for one. And hope that we get enough zero cost. I'm gonna take both of them actually. And then a power I'm not want to play. Okay, now check. It's all for one good. We get skim, leap, stack, axe kick, meteor strike. Yes, all for one is amazing. Leap. We did get stack, I guess the thing was full. Got enough block, and now it's us against you. You got four strength up, I think we can work with that. Already we got four, not take any damage. No. Doubling up on Meteor Strike. Seems like a surefire way to do this. And now we're screwed. I mean, yeah, we can play this. We can play the stack, we can play a leap this, we can even play this, but in the end we're gonna take one of our buffers off. This is where I kinda want to kill him. But this is where we don't will not be able to kill him. So I double up on the block. So we get two buffers off. If I play another one, we'll get two buffers off still. But <coughs> I don't want to play any of these powers. Guess we'll hit you with that and the fire potion. I think we're fine as soon as we get all our powers going. I just don't want to do it yet. One buffer is left because of the power of the of his power again. Oh, I shouldn't have maybe doubled up on something else. That is a lot of block. Let's reboot this. Banash, do it again. Okay, we're up on 19 energy. Wait, we, we conserve our energy. This is the last buffer gone, by the way. 50 damage, we could be able to do this, right? This is enough damage. Okay, we conserve our energy again. And we play Amplify on this one. We can play Powers now. I can't play the other two. Okay, I think we got this. We have a second buffer in our deck, right? Double up on the buffer. Beautiful. Play Heat Sinks, play Loop. Play machine learning, play bias cognition, skim. Up to 40 energy. Can we maybe channel some lightning. And 
Deep Stack. Fusion. We got infinite energy. Draw some cards. Hit you with that. Remember your channel knob, draw a card. Hit you with that. It draws us three more cards. There's the storm. Stack is useless. I think we want to go up to 26 energy. Might take a while again. Draw four cards. Leap. Invoke your next orb. Redraws. Another leap. I think it's time for enlightenment. Cool headed. Draws us three cards. Aggregate was actually. Power down. We got conserve energy again. Yeah, no, do we? This is too many powers. Why, why, what, what, what is that doing over up there? Like, what? No, we don't have conserve energy. Wait, didn't we have conserve energy? Am I stupid? We got loop? No, we don't have conserve energy. That was last turn, so I guess we'll... Look at all those block. And now we got all our powers ready. You're completely screwed, my friend. Next two powers are played twice. Double up on machine learning. Hit him with the meteor strike. We reshuffled our deck. And now the free meteor strike. Wait. Rebound. Recursion. Streamline. Prime. Draw two cards. Multicast to double up our power again. And now I have a billion ways to kill him. What's the nicest one? Hyper beam into death. Get an all for one and get bad both meteor strikes. <laughs> Everything costs zero. I all for one is amazing. Okay. We'll block. We'll block. Open our, our hands a bit. Uh, no, not open. There you go. Hit him with the orb. Oh, he's all dead. Oh, no. But what's with all our damage and all the orbs and everything? I think we might have been almost infinite there. 800 points is not great. I think we took too much damage on the important fights, maybe. Yeah, only one perfect. We got combo. We got. I guess we got two champions in a perfect. It's fine. Librarian. Yeah. I mean... There was not many elite fights, so we lost quite a few points there, compared to a regular daily. Ah, uh, it's not great, but it's kind of late this day today, so think top one, f top fifteen hundred is fine. It, I had a lot of fun though. This was this was fun. It was a l very long one, but I thoroughly enjoyed it playing around with these cards. I hope you had fun as well, thank you for watching and I will see you next episode.